JEE Main 2022. In this video, let's plunge into the details of the JEE Main Exam 2022. Engineering is the most sought after career choice in India for a lot of students. Getting admission into an engineering college requires students to clear the entrance examination. The JEE Main Entrance Examination is one of the widely accepted ones to get admission into engineering colleges across universities in India. Students who are appearing for JEE Main Entrance Exam will ponder over a lot of things in their mind and have a lot of questions about the exam like When is the exam date? How to calculate the percentile scores? What is the difference between percentile, individual raw scores and rank? What will be the eligible cutoff? And much more. Keep watching this video to get all of those answers. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite courses and careers. To know more about the pattern of the JEE main exam, marking scheme and exam sessions, check out the link below in the description for our previous videos. Now let's look briefly into important dates that students should be aware of for JEE Main Exam 2022. In 2022, the exam will be conducted in only two sessions and not four sessions like back in 2021. Session 1 is going to be conducted on April the 21st, the 24th, 25th, 29th, May 1st and May 4th, 2022. The last day to apply for the exam is March 31st, 2022. Admit cards will be available to download for students in the second week of April 2022. Session 2 of the exam will be conducted from May 24th to 29th, 2022. Now let's take a look into percentiles, ranks, scores and other details. NTA usually releases the students' marks as percentiles in their official website. So what is a percentile? The marks which NTA releases are not the actual raw score of any student. NTA uses a normalization method to calculate the student's results. The first session of JEE Main will be conducted for six days with two shifts each day. Every day there's going to be a different question paper. This brings in a possibility of the paper either being easy or tough. In order to eliminate this difference, the NTA observes a normalization method. The formula used to calculate percentile is as follows. The total percentile or T1 equals 100 into the number of candidates who appeared from the session with a raw score equal to or less than the candidate, divided by the total number of candidates who appeared in the session. Similarly, percentile will be calculated for each of the individual subjects, mathematics, physics and chemistry using the same formula. The T1 percentile is not the aggregate or average of the percentile scores of the individual subject. It is important to note that these percentile scores will be calculated up to 7 decimal points to avoid the bunching effect and reduce ties. So what is the use of calculating the individual subject percentiles? To determine the overall percentile scored by the candidate in each session. In case a bunch of students end up with the same percentile, then this will be resolved in the following manner. With two people having the same percentile, one with the highest NTA score in mathematics will be given a higher rank among the two candidates. If the tie still exists, then the NTA score in physics will be used to evaluate the higher rank. If the tie still exists between the two or more students, then a person with the higher NTA score in chemistry will be assigned a higher rank. Other methods to resolve this issue will be to check those who have less wrong answers in mathematics, physics and chemistry. If still the tie scores cannot be resolved, then candidates older in age will be given a higher rank. The JEE main percentile score of a candidate shows how many candidates have scored equal to or below that particular percentile in the exam. For 2022, the exam will be conducted in two sessions. For each session, the results will be released separately. If a student appears for both the sessions, then the best score of two sessions will be taken into consideration. Now let's take a look into JEE main marks versus percentile versus rank and these are based on some of the following factors. The total number of appeared candidates, difficulty level of the exam, the overall performance of the candidate. We have seen the formula on how to calculate the percentile scores which will help in determining the NTA score of the candidates and also the All India rank. 
Based on the All India Rank and the candidate's choice of subject, they can predict in which colleges they have a higher chance for getting admissions. Let us now give you some example scores to calculate percentile and to understand the method to predict the rank system. Assume six candidates A, B, C, D, E and F attempted JEE Main 2022 on Day 1 Shift 1 and 2 of Session 1. Here let us look at the raw scores obtained by the candidates as followed. We have assumed the scores just to show how to calculate percentile. Candidate A has scored 295 out of 300 and has taken the exam in Shift 1. Candidate B has scored 290 out of 300 and has taken the exam in Shift 2. Candidate C has scored 292 out of 300 and has taken the exam in Shift 1. Candidate D has scored 292 out of 300 and has taken the exam in Shift 1. Candidate E has scored 285 out of 300 and has taken the exam in Shift 1. Candidate F has scored 285 out of 300 and has taken the exam in Shift 2. Let us assume that the second shift question paper was difficult compared to the first shift. So just based on the raw scores, the candidates will get the following ranks. Rank 1 will be awarded to candidate A. Rank 2 to candidates C and D. Rank 3 to candidate B. And rank 4 will be awarded to candidates E and F. If the awards are categorized according to raw scores, then candidate F will be treated unfairly, as we have already assumed that the second shift question paper was more difficult than the first shift question paper, and also awarding the same rank as candidate E will not be a good method. Hence, NDA has introduced the normalization method. Based on the formula, for candidate A, the total percentile equals 100 into 50,000 divided by 50,000, which equals 100. Hence, the total percentile for candidate A is 100. For candidate B, it is 100. For candidate C, it is 99.998. For candidate D, 99.998. For candidate E, 99.994. And finally, for candidate F, 99.9977777. Remember, percentile scores will be calculated up to seven decimal places to avoid ties among candidates with the same scores. Now, based on the percentile, the candidates will get the following ranks. Rank 1 to candidates A and B. Rank 2 to candidates C and D. Rank 3 to candidate F. And rank 4 will be awarded to candidate E. This is how NTA calculates percentile scores and ranks. If you have any doubts, do comment below and we will get back to you with appropriate information. Let's make it simple. Raw scores will be used to calculate the percentile scores for candidates and based on the percentile scores, the ranks will be assigned to the students. So let's first look at the trend for 2021 for the ranks obtained by the candidates who appeared for the exam. Here we are just displaying the scores and percentiles obtained from a range of score 250 to 300 in 2021. Based on percentile scores, let's quickly review previous year data to find out more information. So within a raw score 250 to 300, 315 ranks were allotted in 2021. Now just to show a comparison, we have compiled a table showing the ranks for the past three years, 2021, 2020 and 2019. From the table, it is clear that there is a gradual shift in the ranks obtained for the same range of scores. In 2019, if you have scored the highest marks, you would be within 100 ranks. But in 2020 and 2021, if you have scored the highest marks, you will be within a rank of 1 to 25 approximately. This shows that the competition is increasing. Prepare well and good luck to all of the students appearing for the JEE main exam 2022. Now let's look into the cutoff details for JEE main exam. NTA releases two types of cutoffs. One is the qualifying cutoff and the other is the admission cutoff. The qualifying cutoff is the score required by candidates to be eligible. The admission cutoff is the minimum marks required by candidates to be eligible for admission into NITs, IIITs and GFTIs as well as other participating institutes. Also, the cutoff for different categories of candidates will be officially announced, which means, for example, if the eligible cutoff for admission into a college is 66 for the general category, for SE slash ST candidates, it will be 46. 
Now let's look into the previous year cutoff details for various category candidates as it might give you insights about the expected range for 2022. We hope we've given you all of the details needed for calculating the percentile scores for JEE main exam and how to predict the ranks based on previous year trends, as well as showed you the cutoff range of different categories over the last five years. What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us and we will provide you with all of the information that you need to prove your decision right. If you agree with our analysis, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.